Hi guys, just thought I'd do a quick video about how their pond's getting on. Uh, it's a lovely sunny day here today, so I've got the covers off for a bit. Um, water's up to 15 degrees now. As you can see, the fish are loving it. They're all certainly a lot more happy and active since the temp's been up. Um, but in the end of one of my other videos, I did see a couple of fish flash. And I did do some scrapes and I did find I had some flukes. Uh, so I've treated them with Lernex Pro. I uh, put that in about four days ago. And most of the flashing seems to have stopped now. Um, but I'll probably do a second dose in another week or so. Still keeping an eye on the water parameters at the moment. I mean the fish are desperate for food. They just want to eat all the time. But with the pond being new, I can't just keep piling the food in. Um, just done a water test now actually. My ammonia is zero, so that's good. My nitrite, it's it's not zero, but it's not 0.25 either. Um, it looks, it's actually a bit lighter than it looks in that fight in, in the video. But I'm not too worried about that at the moment, but I'm just gonna keep building it up slowly for now. Just wanna say a big thank you to everyone who's subscribed to the channel. Uh, numbers have really picked up recently. I think we're over 1,500 subscribers now. Um, I was meant to do this giveaway when we got to a thousand subscribers, but I've been busy with getting the pond sorted, so I kind of forgot about it. But for all you Easy Pod users out there, uh, this is one of the modification discs. Uh, it was given to me by Devon Coy, um, but as I've not got an Easy Pod anymore, I thought I'd pass it on to one of you guys. Uh, so if you want to enter it. Uh, keep watching the video to find out how to enter that at the end. Um, for anybody who doesn't know, these go on top of the media underneath the overflow and what they do is they compress the media down which helps trap a few fines because uh, easy pods they do let a little bit through them. Uh, it definitely did help you know I used it on Mild Pond and it worked really well so I want to pass it on to one of you guys. Uh, I'll cover the postage to anywhere in the UK so keep watching the video to find out how to enter and uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to enter and also I'm going to put a couple of links to a couple of other people's channels uh, and also to a discord group which I'm a member of which there's a load of, a load of coy guys on there I'd like to have a chat so make sure you check that out some really nice guys on there it's, it's well worth a look I'll just show you a couple of bits I've been up to. Uh, I've installed some smart sockets on the, uh, the air pump for the bottom drain and also the air source heat pump so I can keep an eye on the energy usage. So just a quick press of a button on the app and I can turn the air on in the pond. You should start seeing that come up in a second. And then if I press it again I can turn it off. Uh, I have this set on the timer so it comes on and off for a few hours every day. Generally I like to have it off when I'm going to be viewing the fish. Uh, it's quite useful. Uh, it also shows me how much power the air pump is using which is not a lot. <laughs> but on the air source heat pump, if I go on the electric on here, it's showing this is uh, this is showing the kilowatt hours of what it's using at the moment. So at the moment it's not running, it's using 8.3 watts, that's what it uses in standby. Um, today it's used 3.68 kilowatt hours and a kilowatt hour for me cost me 16p in the day and 12p at night. I know that's not a great rate, some people might be paying a little bit less. Um, but it's been on for nine days so far. You see the costs are a little bit up and down, sort of depending on the 
depending on the air temperature and also when I brought it up. Um, but over those nine days I brought the temperature up from 11.5 to 15 and it's used 35.85 kilowatts. So I'm working it out even at just the day rate, not the night rate, I think five pounds and seven pence over over nine days. So not a lot really at all to be honest, I'm quite happy with that. So if you want to win this easy pod disc, just um, put a comment down below, a uh, really nice simple one. Uh, how many litres of K1 Micro come with an easy pod when you buy one? And as I say, I'll I'll pick I'll let it run for a couple of weeks and I'll pick a winner uh, at random and then I'll send that out anywhere in the UK. So yeah, it is, it is UK only unfortunately on this one guys. And for those who aren't easy pod owners, I will be doing some more comps later in the year so you know, keep your eyes out for them. Make sure you hit that subscribe anyway. Uh, I've still got lots of things to do on this pond. Um, as you can see, I'm starting to sort my garden out. But <laughs> yeah, a lot to do with the pond. Certainly going to make it look, look a lot nicer. Hopefully get a pergola up over the top of it as well at some point. Thanks for watching today's video, guys. Just a short one today. Uh, but I'll have a longer video come in hopefully this weekend I'm going to go through everything I've done with building this pond so just in case there's anybody who's missed any of the build videos make sure you check that out I'm also going to go through some of the things that I've got wrong during this build some of the things I wish I'd done differently uh, so make sure you check that out particularly if you're thinking of building a sleeper pond I'm really pleased with how it's turned out but there's definitely a lot of things I would have done differently if I could do it again anyway thanks for watching this video guys uh, give it a thumbs up and uh, make sure you're subscribed and good luck to everybody entering the competition. I'll see you all in the next one.